Welcome to Living Healthy Chicago. I'm Jane Munzuris. We want to kick off today's show talking about the important role our families play in our health journeys. Their support can be significant when it comes to facing a challenge. Plus, they can keep us motivated to work towards recovery. This next man says having his family by his side ensured that his spirits remained high as he went through treatment for a serious health issue. Robert Banks has always appreciated time spent outdoors. I'm kind of an outdoors person. I just like moving around and getting the fresh air. Just being out and about, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's just something about it. it. Makes me feel happy. And because of his overall healthy lifestyle, he was surprised to get some concerning news from his doctor during a routine physical a few years ago. I get a physical every year for my birthday. My doctor asked me how I was feeling, and he said that he sees a little something in my blood. He said I had 7% protein in my blood. He said the average person has two to three percent. Doctors monitored those numbers, and when they increased, Robert was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is a type of cancer that affects your immune system, specifically a type of cell that is called plasma cell. This plasma cell is responsible for uh, protecting you from infections. Uh, the way these cells are going to do this is by producing a protein for some unknown reason, these cells can become malignant. The most common symptoms are fatigue and pain in their bones. Many times, their doctors find that the protein level is elevated. So multiple myeloma affects your body uh, entirely. I had never heard of it before. I never felt sick. He said there was absolutely nothing that I had did. It was in my DNA. After some consultation with his doctors, Robert went ahead with treatment. Robert went through high-dose chemotherapy and dental transplantation. He had a bone marrow transplant. Despite the serious nature of his health issues, Robert chose to focus on staying positive. I don't think worrying does any good. I'm kind of like the glass is half full. What's going to happen is going to happen. He was a person that was very optimistic. I certainly have seen a difference uh, on my patients. They do better because they are optimistic. Robert says what kept him upbeat was his family. Big family, lots of love. I had somebody with me in the hospital every night, so I was very fortunate. Family support is extremely important. If you think about how difficult these treatments could be, those patients who have family support, they do better than if they go through this by themselves. With his family cheering him on, Robert recovered well and recently enjoyed a big birthday celebration with his loved ones. Family gave me a big party. Lots of family and friends. I think that I'm blessed. I, I, I've been very blessed to have such a big family and a support system. Even though Robert will continue to be monitored, he says he's doing much better. I'm great. I feel good. Only looking forward from here. I like to tell patients that unfortunately no one can call all this a cure. However, you caught the grass so close to the ground that takes many, many years for that to grow back. Both Robert and Dr. Rodriguez hope to spread awareness about this health issue and the importance of checking in regularly with your doctor about the health of your blood and your body. Something that can make a difference in the diagnosis, management, outcome is if we find these diseases uh, early. If there's any symptomatology, you feel weak, you have pain in your bones. You have, don't let that go in through many weeks, many months uh, before calling your doctor. You have to go to the doctor. You got to get checked out. Routine physical is very, very important. I think that's where it starts at. It saves your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want more content about living healthy? Well, it's easy. Check out these videos right here and subscribe right here for more.